We are living in a time where the problems are very complicated. And what we see when we try to solve the problems, we see from our disciplinary lens. This is a kind of culture we have created through our engineering education, as well as the way we are structured in our school. We don't have departments, we have programs. And mechanical professors and electrical professors and civil professors interact with each other depending on that kind of the problem they are asked to solve. Civil engineering is the discipline that creates harmony among people, nature and technology. Electrical engineering is concerned with the design and creation of any electrical system. Mechanical engineering is a branch of engineering which deals with design and manufacturing things starting from simple, single part to rather complex and intricate mechanism and devices. The School of Engineering offers three engineering programs, electrical, mechanical and civil engineering programs. The first two years are designed in a way where students have an opportunity to interact with various disciplines. We take a lot of pride the way we offer our program, which is a design focus, problem-based learning, and project-based learning. As a mechanical engineer, we are trying to design and develop new nanostructure and materials that will enable next generation battery technology. Civil engineers are involved in every aspect of creating a civil society and a quality of life we can all enjoy. I've been drawn to electrical engineering because electromagnetic phenomena are responsible for almost every of all of our uh, everyday interactions. On top of that, electrical engineering involves a strong understanding of physics, math, and scientific principles. From day one, when a student joins a school of engineering, we have a course called AppSci 171. The student learn how to draw and fabricate a device using 3D printing and SOLIDWORKS. And then it goes to the second term of the first year, which we have another big design, and that is our sustainable design course. In the second year, again, we have another big design, which is very mechanical engineering oriented, and that is our hovercraft competition. Students from different disciplines, mechanical, electrical, civil, they get together, they design a hovercraft, and then they compete. And finally, in our last year, we have industry-based capstone project in which the companies who have problems, real issues, they come to our school and our mechanical mechanical engineering student with other disciplines like electrical and civil, they get together and they design something. The reason why the students choose the disciplines of civil is the area is broad. We have many sub-disciplines in the civil engineering, structural engineering, transportation engineering, environmental engineering, and many others. We have a very diverse faculty that works on a number of different research topics and these include artificial heart valves, composite materials, autonomous vehicles, microfluidic devices, and many other topics that you can think of. Electrical engineering also concerns electromagnetic signals and energy sources. What we're concerned with in this lab is the interaction of light with nanoscopic materials that we intentionally create with specialized properties. The School of Engineering has a UBC brand and we are in the small place where students have an opportunity to interact very closely with the professors and with the smaller class sizes. We have gathered high quality researchers and professors which ensure that the quality of education and the quality of training provided to the student is a world class. We are UBC in a small frame. This is the kind of an opportunity I think for undergrad students is extremely important to have a more opportunity to interact with their professors and getting the high quality education.